Hi everyone, welcome to another crochet tutorial with me, Laura, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make this crochet bow. Nice Easter bow. So as some of you may have noticed, I haven't been doing some crochet videos for the last month, and if you've been following me on social media, then you'll probably know why. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for your support and encouragement and the reason I stopped doing videos for a while is because it just became really really stressful um, trying to come up with a design each week and finding the time to actually film and edit and everything it was really really taking it out of me so a few things are going to be changing with Happy Berry Crochet I'm going to write up a blog piece of the new direction that Happy Berry is going to be taking um, so I'll put a link to that in the description when it's available but for now let's just crack on with this tutorial and uh, so for this bow we're going to be making um, I'm going to be using some I'm going to use some nice Serda Snuggly yarn a DK yarn so this is a light worsted weight yarn a yarn weight of three or I don't think it says it on there and I'm going to use a purple this time and with that I'm going to be using a 3.5 millimeter crochet crochet hook e4 crochet hook okay so let's begin okay so we're going to take our yarn and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to chain it doesn't really matter how many you chain actually the more you chain or less you chain is how high your bow will be so but for this actual bow i chained 17 to begin so i'm going to do our little slip knot a little slip knot and then we're going to chain 17 so one two three four. 15 16 and 17 so I've chained 17 little chain so that's going to be the height of our bow and I'm going to do one double crochet. Now this pattern's in US terminology. So in UK terminology, a double crochet is going to be a treble. So we're going to yarn over. And we're going to do one double crochet in our fourth chain from our hook. So we don't count the loop on our hook. We count, there's our first one, one, two, three, four. So we're going to go into that fourth chain. I'm going to do a double crochet. Okay, so these first three chains here that we've skipped are going to count as a double crochet as well. So effectively we've done two double crochets. We're going to do one double crochet in each chain across until we get a stitch count of 15. So that's those three are our first double crochet. It's our second one. So find the next chain and do your third double crochet. Three. And we're going to do one double crochet in each chain across so just go into each little chain do a double crochet do that all the way to the end just one in each okay just coming up to the last couple of chains so just pull that tight and you should find your last chain next to your slip knot and you should have something that looks like this. So you should have a stitch count of 15, so you should have 14 proper double crochets and those three chains at the end are going to count as your 15th double crochet. What we're going to do now, we're going to do a little chain one, I'm not going to count that as a stitch, so just ignore that, it's just a little turning stitch. We're going to turn our work. We're going to do one double crochet in each stitch across and we're going to start in this first stitch here. Do one double crochet in there and just one double crochet into each stitch across to the other end. You need to make sure you've got a stitch count of 15. So that's three. Four, 13 almost at the end and 14 will look like your last proper stitch number 14 goes in there 
but we need a stitch count of 15. So remember these three chains here, which we are counting as a double crochet. We need to find that top chain, this one here, this third one, and do a double crochet into there. So you can just see it the other side here. Make sure you don't miss this. I mean, it's not the end of the world if you do, to be honest, because it doesn't really affect the pattern, but we're gonna stick a little double crochet in there. Okay, so we've got a stitch count of 15 going across there. We're just going to repeat that. So we're gonna chain one again, don't count that as a stitch, turn and do one double crochet in each stitch across. And we're gonna do that for how many rows? We're gonna do that for, we're gonna do that for another 31 rows, about another 30 rows. So let's do 30, I've done literally another 31, so very odd amount, but because <laughs> I just made this pattern without really writing it down. So when I counted it, it just ended up being an odd number of rows. So around 30 more rows on top of those last two you've done. So I'm going to do that and then I shall come back. So you're just literally chaining one and then turn and do one double crochet in each stitch across, keeping a stitch count of 15. I'm going to do that for 30 rows or 31 rows if you really want to copy me. <laughs> okay, so I'll do that and come back. Okay, so I'm just coming up to the last couple of stitches and the end of these rows are just normal stitches. You don't have any chains to work into. That's just after the first row, so you don't need to worry about that. So there we go, you still have a stitch count of uh, 15 and you should hopefully you've got something that looks a little something like this. Okay, there we go. So in total, I've done 33 rows. Um, so I just did an extra 31 rows. And you've got a nice solid rectangle like this. And this could apply to any stitch as well. You could do a rectangle in any stitch design that you like, and that'll create a different effect on your bow. This is just simple double crochet. But what we're gonna do now is we're going to fold our project in half. Okay, so we're going to just literally fold it in half and we're going to put our hook back in our work. Then what we're going to do is we're going to turn our work and uh, do a little chain one to begin again. Chain one and turn your work. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to slip stitch and join the two sides together. So we're going to go into that first stitch, but we're going to find the corresponding stitch on this side as well so hopefully you can still see your little chains that you've worked into from the first very first row so i'm going to put my hook in there as well and i'm going to bring the yarn through both stitches and straight through the loop on my hook to do a slip stitch i'm going to do that all the way across and keeping a stitch count of 15 so going to the second one find the corresponding chain the other side bring the yarn through both stitches and do a slip stitch. And then the third one, get my tail end out of the way, find the corresponding chain. You can usually see where the double crochet is coming from. That should be where your chain is. My tail end's getting in the way. Bring that through, do a slip stitch. So we're gonna slip stitch and join all the way across to the other side, joining both ends. Okay, almost there, the last two. 14 is going to be a proper stitch. 15, it's the very last one. Just find a little chain, slip stitch, and join there. Okay. And there we can cut our yarn. Let's get my scissors. Okay, so get your scissors. And now we can cut our yarn. 
finish with our main part of our bow. So let's bring that through. And we're going to hide these tail ends. So I'm going to sew in these tail ends. So get a yarn needle. Let's get my yarn needle. And what we're going to do is we're just going to thread that on. And I'm just going to sew over, do a little stitch like that first. Just to tighten that. And then I'm just going to sew through this little bit of stitching here. And there we go. I'm going to do that for the trim the excess. I'm going to do that for the other tail end as well. And then we'll come back and work on the next bit. Okay, so I've done that for the other tail end. What we're going to do now is we're going to turn this inside out so this ridge we've got here is on the inside. You get a nice flatter seam like so. And don't worry about the project slightly coming in so because this is going to be in the middle. What you want to do is place your seam in the middle now. So rather than having it at the end, we're going to put that in the middle so we get nice curved edges either side of our bow. Okay, so what we're going to do now, that's the main part of the bow finished. We're just going to make this little band here, which is pretty much the same, it's just a different size. So we're going to get the same coloured yarn or different coloured yarn, whatever you want to do. And we're going to chain seven. So let's chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six seven chain seven and again we're going to do one double crochet in our fourth chain from our hook so don't count the loop on your hook so it's one two three four so one two three four in that fourth chain do a double crochet so it's just like the beginning of our main band we're going to do one double crochet in the remaining three chains as well Double crochet in the next chain, double crochet in the next chain. You should have one left, double crochet in that last chain. And this time you should have a stitch count of five. So you've got four proper double crochets, and those three chains are going to count as a double crochet. So you've got a stitch count of five. I'm going to do the same thing again. We're going to chain one. Again, don't count that as a stitch and turn and do one double crochet in each stitch cross, starting in that first stitch. So you've got a stitch count of five. So one, next stitch, two, three, Four will be your last proper stitch. And the fifth one, if you remember, it's going to be in the top of those three chains. So just find that little third chain at the top. Do a little stitch in there to get your fifth stitch. And we're going to do, just do the same as we did for the band. We're going to chain one and work one double crochet in each stitch across, keeping a stitch count of five. And we're going to do that for how many rows are we going to do it? Up to row nine. So it's going to be an extra, this will be our third row. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's seven more rows. Okay, so seven more rows of just chain one and turn one double crochet in each stitch across, keeping a stitch count of five. And do that for seven more rows. Seven rows. So you've got nine in total. Okay. I'll do that and then I shall come back. Just chain one and turn, starting in that first stitch. And just coming up with the very last stitch on the ninth row. Grab that last one. There we go. So you should have nine rows in total. I just did seven more rows. You should have nine in total. Then we're just going to, um, oh no, we're not going to cut our yarn yet. Oh, that was close. <laughs> What we're going to do is the same thing we did here. We're going to now fold our project in half. Um, I'm just going to do a little chain one and turn. So chain one again and turn as if doing a normal row. Put your hook into the first stitch and find the corresponding chain from this end. Should be where that double crochet is coming from. 
we hook into there and bring the yarn through both stitches and do a slip stitch. I'm going to do that all the way across. So the second one, two, next one, three, four, and the last one. Five, so it's going to be going for that little chain on the end rather than the stitch. That like little first chain. And there we go. So we've still got a stitch count of five, and we're just going to cut our yarn, bring that through, and then we're going to hide our tail ends the same way we did for this. So I'm just going to do that. Okay, so I've hidden the tail ends, and again, we're going to turn this inside out to hide that ridge. We've got like a little mini version of this now basically and what we're going to do is we're now going to put our bow together so what we're going to do is making sure the seam is in the middle we're going to concertina our work so we're going to fold it over by about a centimeter ish over to the front then we're going to turn that over and fold it back and then we're going to fold it back again in that direction Okay, so you end up with something that looks like that. You've got both ends facing you and this lump in the middle. And what that does on this side, it creates this sort of pattern here, a nice bow pattern. So then what we want to do is squash the ends, make sure they've still got their little S fold, concertina fold, and we're going to put our band over the end of our project. And it should stretch because it's double crochets, it should stretch a little bit. If you've done single crochets for whatever reason, then it might not have as much stretch, but it should go on nice and easy with double crochets. Put that in the middle and make sure the seam of your band, small band, is the same side as these ridges. So this side, so we can find the end. There we go, there's the, the end. Flatten out your centre bow, your centre piece rather. Make sure it's all nice and flat. There we go, and then just turn it over so we get the nice bow side and stretch out the ends of your bow. And there we go, we've got another perfect crochet bow. Like I said, you can play with all different types of stitches to get different effects. And you can use multicolored yarn to get some really funky bows. And then what you can do is you can add a clip to a, the back, like a barrette clip, hair clip. Um, just feed this band through the clip. Um, you may need to do that before joining the band. It depends on what clip you use. Um, but what I did is I actually fed this through a hair band and it's stuck up. I'll show you, I'll get the hairband. Okay, I've just had to steal this from my daughter's head. <laughs> but this is a material bow done exactly the same way. And what I've done is I've just fed one of these hairbands uh, through the middle band like so. And what's great about this is that it stays on much easier, especially if your child's got quite thin hair like my daughter has. And you can actually just twist it round to the side and have the bow standing up like that so it really stands out on their head because the problem with clips is they tend to lie flat on the head whereas with this it can sit up like so and like like i've uh, shown here you can do exactly the same thing with a material bow and i'll do a photo tutorial on my blog at happybraidcrochet.blogspot.com on how to make a material bow it's exactly the same technique but i'll leave that for a photo tutorial and i hope you enjoyed that crochet tutorial I hope you've managed to follow along and uh, i will see you soon for some more crochet fun um, like I said, I'm going to do a little blog piece on what's going on with Happy Berry and where I'm at. I'm actually currently working on a crochet book, but do follow me on Instagram for all my latest updates at Happy Berry Crochet, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.